This is gonna be very interesting. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and my closet. Today we're doing something that has been bothering me for so long now and it's decluttering my closet. This place is a dungeon of goodness, but I can't even find that goodness because all I see is junk. So I decided that this is enough and I actually posted it on my Instagram and you guys requested for me to do a video about it. So I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna show you some of the things I'll be donating and then other stuff that are more kind of mid to high end I'll be selling on my Depop account. I'm gonna put a link in my description box for that one. I'm gonna also show you things that I bought that like what the hell what I was thinking. I would also show you things that were very expensive expensive that I bought that I'm like what the hell was I thinking there's gonna be a lot of questioning my decisions and kind of mind in general so I'm ready are you ready don't judge me it's okay I'm judging myself let's put some war paint on this is actually just a natural highlighter but you know I need to feel like I'm ready for I just need you know, just a moisturizer okay I want half of this closet to be out literally I'm usually pretty organized, like I'll have all my t-shirts and stuff here, the sweaters will be here, all my jackets, there's not a lot of room left, some shoes and my dresses. So I'm gonna have two piles, right and left, and this will be donations, this will be sale. Let's do it. So I have this thing where I always buy these like t-shirts that they're cool for like a second but then I'm over it so let's find some of those this is so so cute this shirt Can you see the shirt but I wonder if I'll ever wear it you know what the problem is that I fell in love with the style and then I bought like three of them that all look the same just like variations of themselves. The other thing that I need to be really careful about is the fact that I am pregnant, so you know, you can make some drastic decisions when you are pregnant. So I'll be very careful to make sure that I don't make those. I don't wanna throw things that I would actually like. So I think this I will keep. Because I think that once I'm not pregnant and my stomach is not popping out, this will be cute with just like high-waisted pants. And I think this pattern will be back, so I'm gonna keep this. But this, on the other hand, is basically the same thing, but it's with the long sleeve. And this is from Zara. I ordered it, I've never worn it. This will also look pretty cute, but I just don't need two of these. So this will be sale okay let's keep going so i have some t-shirts that are just don't fit well today i'm gonna go online and buy just good quality t-shirts i really like them with their crew neck but tight and this is just like the cut is not right so this will be donation <sighs> lots of white t-shirts so i bought this t-shirt that says leonardo and i thought it was really cute it's from top shop um i wore it maybe a couple of times but now i kind of feel uncomfortable because like i'm married and this is i guess for leonardo dicaprio but like i don't even think it's that cute so donate okay this is pretty cute for vacation you can just put high-waisted and this kind of like falls here but honestly i haven't worn it in so long this is linen this is like the perfect kind of tube off the shoulder not a it's not really a tube top anyways this is sale i'm not sure what this is and my whole technique honestly for this closet cleanse is that i want to see things that when i look at them i'm like it makes me happy and I see potential, you know what I mean? Some things I just don't see potential. This is just a regular button down top shop. It's actually cotton, it's really nice, but the fit doesn't really suit me anymore. Also, I kind of don't like that the buttons are dark. Is that a weird thing? I'm very specific. So this will probably be donation. I'm sure that maybe someone will find it suitable for work. This should actually serve me through my pregnancy 
and uh, post-pregnancy because this is kind of very loose it's in pretty good condition this is from H&M I've had this for probably six years now and it's still like in good shape I take care of my clothes like the quality is not bad at all and I also think it's kind of cotton so it depends like I make sure that when I buy from stores like that I do make sure that the actual fabric is good to make sure that I'm not just wasting my money away so this I will probably donate. I'm planning to donate to women's shelters. Hopefully I'll find a few. I'm gonna go online today and find a few of them. I think these will be very helpful for any moms or women that are in the workforce or just in general, women that wanna feel nice because we all deserve to feel and look nice. This is a t-shirt that I bought. It's completely ripped. I'm not sure what I was thinking. It has holes everywhere and every time I wear it my mother is like what you don't have any money to buy a regular t-shirt just a white t-shirt what do you have holes in it I'm not sure where that accent is from it's not hers I was watching the Spanish show the other night so maybe it's from there okay this is I feel even bad like I feel bad donating it it's ripped but I don't want to throw it I think it's cotton maybe it can be my hangout t-shirt at home this one is cute I'm gonna sell it this is just what's her name that girl Star Wars I have to wash it first though okay another example of shopping at Zara <laughs> I had this dress it's this is like a linen simple linen dress I had it I think since I was 17 so for 10 years now and I've worn it like Israeli summers are no joke it's Middle East so this served me so well but I feel like now it's a little too short a little too risque for a mom of three so I will be donating it but oh the memories this dress is such a cute little dress this is from Paige it's actually 100% cotton it feels really nice on the skin very breathable but I just kind of something here I don't like so I'm definitely gonna sell it this is a great quality see this is the example I was talking about like the other shirt this is for a five-year-old I'm gonna donate this this dress I actually have one that I'm wearing that I love it was actually on my Instagram it's this one so I have this in kind of purplish it's really cute I feel like this will be a very good pregnancy one and I have to say, I think lavender is kind of coming back. So I'm going to keep that. This is a great rag and bone blouse that I got. It's silk. So beautiful. I got it as second hand. It's not vintage or anything. I just bought it as second hand for like, I think $40, which is a bargain because a blouse like this will probably cost 300 at least. So yay, Valeria. Okay, this shirt I bought and I was so excited to wear it and I just can't find any way to style it so I'm gonna sell it it's a good shirt okay I definitely need to sell this and this this is cute but I have so many of them so I actually bought it just because it says drink coca-cola in Hebrew I'm gonna keep it as my house t-shirt you need those too right you know what i have to say i'm like not a big fan i used to be a fan of those you know t-shirts like excel or like namaste and all that stuff so i think i got this at one of the gyms that i was working out at in miami and it's like never stop shifting real deep valeria real deep donation okay a purchase that i regret this is gucci it's so loud where am i gonna wear this it's beautifully made and actually if you wear it with like toned down um, either white pants or jeans it will work but this is so not my style also I have this thing I have a pet peeve with if it's color it has to have the lapels if there's no lapels I absolutely hate it I'm gonna sell this will it or is it one of those things that will like come back to style help let's do this as a question mark just because i can't imagine who's gonna pay what i paid for this blouse oh i want to sell this this is actually such a beautiful bikini 
it has this top and then just like a bottom but it doesn't really suit me so well like the way it fits it's so beautiful i'm gonna be selling this on my depop my recent purchase that i love i like it these are good ones these are top shop um they have the class with the bottom so this looks really good on a lot of girls with like high-waisted jeans or pants in general it doesn't look so good on me i'm gonna sell it this is so cute it's not even my size you can sit with me love the message and i still love it so i'm gonna keep it and that's how you accumulate garbage in your closet my friends so actually i'm doing really well the same as the gray one from top shop but in black this is a beautiful blouse it has this thing i'm gonna sell it this shirt so cute i'm gonna sell it this is a top you can put under a dress or something i don't know I'm gonna sell it. okay this part is done not bad right i'm basically looking for things that i haven't worn forever or when i see them i'm just like ugh. I want to just give that away. This sweater. I literally bought it, never worn it. It's so cute. I'm gonna sell it. Oh, this one. This is a gorgeous one. Unfortunately, not my style anymore. This is torn by Roni Cabo. She actually designs really pretty stuff. And it's kind of a pebble tone. So it's a sweater. So you can literally wear it with jeans and you look like you're dressed up to an event. jackets i am a big fan of jackets they literally transform a whole outfit so i have quite a bit of them i feel like even this year it's like my most record year for buying blazers and jackets just because i needed to kind of you know get some color into my wardrobe this has definitely been my absolute favorite purchase this is a Balmain jacket i dreamed of one for a long time and i got it for a really good price um and i'm just really happy about that i've worn it so far only twice but this one is something that you keep for a long long time let's talk a little bit about my resolutions for shopping for this year um i'm really all about uh building statement pieces and i've been doing it for actually the past two years that's why i really wanted to clean my closet already i kind of have my style figured out completely uh from even like you know times that i go through where i want to be more minimalistic into more playing around with patterns and stuff so i have all of those covered so i kind of really want to clean up all the things that just don't serve me anymore i really want to start buying really good basics i have some that are good but that's why i was saying like the t-shirts those type of things i wear all the time so i really gonna invest in some <sighs> today so this is a jacket this is actually a great jacket it's very like chanel -y type of feel to it and i like the cut the cut is still updated i bought it about maybe four or five years ago it has a little shimmer and shine to it it still like looks good because it has the motor biker type of shape to it so it still looks pretty updated i don't wear it as much anymore so i'm going to sell it but that's a great one Another one that I have is this. This is actually a suit. It's with pants. I just need to find those pants. But I'm gonna post it on my Depop. I have a lot of suits. I'm a big like lover of suits. I just think that this one is, it's done for me. So I'm gonna sell that. And just a white blazer. I'm gonna sell that one too. I haven't worn it in forever. There's jacket real spring so again very chanel type of feel to it i'm gonna sell it worn it i think once or twice laser laser sale a really cool one but i'm not sure i can rock it sale Oh, I need to sell this. I have this really cool top 
but I have to try it on. It has like a big thing here. It's really pretty, but it doesn't fit me well. I've never worn it. It actually still has a tag on it. It's really cool. For like an event or a summer event, it'll be really pretty with pants or jeans. I'm gonna sell these pants. These are really nice. They're high-waisted and they're the kind of palazzo. It has a bend in the back, which is nice. But I don't think I'll wear them anymore. Well, I have this beautiful dress that I got, but also doesn't fit me at all. I'm gonna post it on my Depop. This one is actually ethically made too. It's from a company in Australia. Oh, this one, unfortunately, from Reformation. It's such a cute dress. It doesn't fit me well in the bust area. I have to sell it. This Rebecca Minkoff jacket. I bought it a few years ago in New York. It's really cute because it has this like detail to it. It needs ironing, but I'm gonna sell that. This cute dress from H&M polka dots. I have this ten tendency that when I go to vintage stores, I'll get dresses that will feel like a project to me. So I'll buy them, like this one, which is so pretty, but it's completely see-through. I can't do anything with it. And then it will just kind of be in my closet. I'm gonna sell it because they're both vintage or this one that I was planning to do something. It's so cute. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take photos of them on so you'll see. Never worn it, but it's vintage. This jumpsuit I was really feeling the Hawaii vibes. This is a really pretty dress from BB. I think I've worn it so many times. It's that perfect, like it cuts right where it needs to and then it's kind of a skater skirt and it's lace, it's really cute. Definitely gonna sell it. This one served me really well throughout the years. This one that's a really pretty one too. I think it's silk and it's green, which is a beautiful color. This one is, maybe this would be a good pregnancy dress. Okay, shoes. These booties from Topshop, I actually really like them. They are 38, but they're too small on me. But how cool are they? I tried walking in them so hard, it doesn't work. Selling these YSLs, these are tributes, super, super um, popular version of the Saint Laurent sandals and everyone has them. The problem is I got them and I love the color. The problem is that first of all it doesn't fit very well but not only that it doesn't suit anything that I wear. So I think that they're just not really my style. I literally worn them once look how clean they are and I put a protective sole I do it on all my shoes. So unfortunately I have to sell these. Then I have these Jimmy Choo's from my previous life. These I think I wore in my engagement party. They're super fun and cool and amazing. I just can't wear a heel like that anymore. But look at them, they're so shiny. These La Bouton flats, so cute. Literally haven't worn them in years. They're in really good shape, so I prefer someone else to enjoy them, so I'm gonna sell them. I'm gonna sell this one. This was, I think, one of my first designer bags. I have amazing memories. It's in very good shape. The color suits everything. And it's like a classic. It never goes out of style. I just find that I don't really wear this, this anymore. So I'm also gonna sell it on my Depop account. And I have one more bag that I wanna show you that you'll be like, what? But you'll understand once I show it to you. So it's this one. This is a classic, beautiful, beautiful Chanel bag. It has been used. Unfortunately, I had this like, I have the stupidest story about it. And it's like a pretty woman type of moment. So when I started dating Gary, I used to wear these like plastic bags. And uh, he wanted to surprise me. He's like, you know, he's an amazing gestures like that. So one time he came to visit me in New York. 
and he took me to the Chanel store and he's like pick whatever you want and I was like what and it was so sweet we argued for like 45 minutes because I did not want him to buy me anything but uh, it was like a really you know he worked so hard for his money and he was just like I really want to spoil you just get something so I got a bag it was this one and it's just like such a beautiful it's lambskin so then I was packing to go back to home from New York and I packed everything in my like fabric suitcase at the bag as well which is like don't pack your designer bags in your suitcase number one number two I also packed um, a bottle of nail polish remover because you know <laughs> It's not like they exist everywhere here in Canada. So I decided to do that. And what happened is that it exploded because it's not like a hardcover luggage. So it exploded all over the suitcase and it literally burnt half of the bag. It's not this bag, but wait. So I get home, I open the bag. It's like my first Chanel bag and it's literally all orange. I start freaking out, I cry, I went to Chanel, they're like, just throw it out, there's nothing you can do with it, which is like great customer service. And then I found this place where they do high-end like cleanings and stuff, so I gave it them, to them, and they said, listen, the chances of it going away is really low, because it literally burnt the skin. They said, we're gonna try our best. So I told Gary, and Gary saw that I was super, super upset, so he went and bought me the same one, like, he's my Richard Gere he bought me the same one he surprised me with it it kind of made me a little more upset because I was like oh my god you got me this one again it's so much money but uh, it was super sweet anyway so they called me from that place and they managed to clean the bag completely so I ended up having two of the same bags I know tough life I just felt bad but anyway so that's the reason why I'm selling it and that's it so let's see the aftermath Okay, this is the selling pile. This is the donation pile. Oh, that's it, I'm really tired. This is not a good thing to do when you're pregnant. Um, I'm really tired. I'm gonna take a nap and then I'm just gonna pack these piles up and uh, hopefully we'll put everything up on Depop slowly in the next few weeks. And that's it you guys. I hope that you had fun with me cleaning up my closet. Thanks for keeping me company. There's still a lot of organization thing to do, um, but I'll get to it soon. I need a nap now. Love you guys.